And a very good morning to you. Welcome to our Bird Notes for this Sunday morning. Bear with me on this one. It's a bit convoluted at the start. Today is almost Rossini's birthday. Tomorrow will be, too. I say this because Rossini was born on February 29th, 1792, which makes him a leap year baby. Thus, on the calendar, his birthday comes around only once every four years. And as he was a man of great wit, I'm sure he got a great deal of mileage out of that fact. Now, among Rossini's 39 operas is one titled La Gazza Ladra, The Thieving Magpie. So I thought, in honor of Rossini's almost birthday, or perhaps his 55th leap year birthday, we'd talk about the magpie. Magpies do not live in our area. They are residents of the western prairies. They're hard to miss as one drives through the open country out west. They're almost two feet long with a long metallic greenish-black tail and bold black and white patterns to the body and the wings. Magpies are members of the crow family, and as such are garrulous, omnivorous, noisy, inquisitive, and intelligent. Our black-billed magpie is closely related to the Eurasian magpie, which over the centuries has developed a reputation as a thief and a harbinger of bad luck, especially in the British Isles. The chattering of this bird gave rise to the word magpie being used for someone who talks a lot. The noise and the motion and the cleverness associated with the magpie is probably responsible for their appearance in the Heckle and Jekyll cartoons of the 40s and 50s. The habit of the magpie of examining or flying off with items like buttons or shiny jewelry has marked it as a bird not to be trusted. But this behavior is innocent of any evil intent. The bird is simply curious, and curiosity is a trait of intelligence. In the Rossini opera, a magpie flies off with a piece of valuable jewelry which sets the plot in motion. In the end, the jewelry is discovered in the thieving magpie's nest. So the bird may be a thief, but he's an attractive one, jaunty, and for a bird, intelligent, and handsome, and easy to identify with his striking black and white plumage. <laughs> 